Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the 3 Doodler. It's a 3D pen printer. We've looked at these before as you know, um, but this is the latest generation. So this is the bang up to date. Look at the state, look at that. I mean, they, they started off being really sort of clunky, but now they've come down to almost pen size. Ridiculous. So what does it do? It allows you to use this filament stuff to create stuff, things, you know, 3D printing kind of things, sculptors or bits and pieces. Um, and so this is in the box here. You've got the actual three doodler itself, which is a mains powered uh, little pen, extrusion pen. You have ABS multicolored stock or filament as it's called in the trade, plus PLA uh, filament, which is a slightly more eco-friendly, a nice user guide in multiple languages which helps you to uh, to keep your thing going a short quick start guide which is these are very useful you can tell a, a next generation product because they've taken more care in in the sort of things that you need to get going and to keep you going so you've got quite clearly explanatory um, documentation which is great plus a set of accessories and this includes a nozzle removal tool a small screwdriver for adjusting the temperature in micro uh, amounts a cleaning tool in case you get stuck your filament gets stuck inside the pen and of course the required power block so let's see how it works and how we can go uh, how, how far we get okay so the first thing we're going to need is to uh, plug in the pen itself this is just a, a cover protection cover um, and we need a work surface of course we've learned this from past uh, trials of different pens and we've got we're going to use the multicolored rather than the PLA we'll use the ABS uh, extruded, extruded stuff here and we will probably go for something like pink or oh, maybe we do a multicolored so the first thing you have to do is it says here select your temperature so for the abs it's actually hot so you need the high setting and what will happen is the light will go on to show you that's warming up and then when it's warmed up it'll change to blue for the high setting and it'll change to i think it's uh, green for the pla and the uh, uh, material filament and then what, just to run through the actual pen itself, you have here the on off switch. Can you see that? I hope you can. And the power, of course, the filament feed area is here. Un, uh, you have a slow feed and a fast feed. So you press either of those buttons, that button goes slow, that goes fast. Double click for continuous. So the, feed, the filament will just keep flowing till you stop it again or press and hold down or, uh, to stop it. This is a, uh, an emergency uh, maintenance uh, panel, so you can take that off if you get filament stuck inside and you need to do an emergency uh, repair. We can see the light's gone blue, so the, the pen has reached its operating temperature. Don't touch the nozzle, it's obviously hot. That's the nozzle which you can take off again as part of maintenance. And that's basically the whole pen. The next trick is to insert the filament until you feel the gears at the end and then advance the filament through the through the unit oh there it goes very slowly and then we're just going to wait for it to come out the other end it takes a about 30 seconds or so or even more maybe for it to arrive oh there we go and we're out and then it's just a matter of using your little printer pen to create something I think we're going to go for something we're 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 uh, comfortable with, <laughs> which is a a bicycle. Oh gosh, that's really sad. Right.
there you go one <laughs> let me turn that round <laughs> one pink <laughs> and slightly strange 3d bicycle almost so <laughs> let me bring that up to the camera there you go okay number of things to, to, to notice uh, one I like the the continuous mode that's really very cool um, it makes it a lot easier to use if you've got this uh, you can just control it by holding the button down and letting it go um, not worrying about uh, flow rates um, not very much not that much smell only at the last minute when I was doing quite a lot of um, uh, quite a lot of the base did I start to smell anything at all the rest um, you know it says I use it in the ventilated room and um, I would suggest you definitely do that but apart from that, it is as much fun as uh, the, the first uh, 3D printer pen we tried. And, you know, you're really only limited by your imagination and what you want to do with it. There is obviously a community nowadays. You can find out what other people have been doing and try and copy it. I may have a look and see if I can find something interesting to do and add it on to the, bot the back of this video. What's our verdict on the 3Doodler? Very nice. And we like the choice of uh, the materials that you can use both PLA and ABS it gives you much more flexibility so each of these little packs cost ten dollars or equivalent um, and you'll get through I don't know one of these one of these little s strips per small sculptor so it's not too expensive to use you just got to be prepared to keep uh, some accessories lying around for when you run out as with everything I suppose yes the 3D the 3D pen three doodler nice as usual if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool stuff like this <laughs> cheers i'm going to go back to do some more printing so i've come back and and this is what i've done in about 15 or 20 minutes um, a little pair of spectacles i'm partly chuffed with that i think it might go in a gallery somewhere